This short video shows how to create, modify, and move shapes. So we'll I'll first show you how to add a shape in Copilla Sim. Then I'll show you how to change the color of the shape and also modify the dimensions of the shape. Finally, I'll show you how to translate and rotate the shape. To add a shape, go to add primitive shape. And in this case, I'll choose cuboid. Say OK. Uh, to change the color of the shape, just click on cuboid in the scene hierarchy. Go to adjust color. Uh, here we'll change it to, let's say, red. Okay, so next I'll show you how to modif modify the dimensions of the shape. So go to view modify geometry. Uncheck key proportions. Here we'll keep the X, Y dimension same and change the Z dimension. So the way you can figure out the dimensions is if you look at the axis here, X is along this axis, Y is along this axis shown, the green arrow, and blue is the Z axis. So since only changing the Z axis, the dimension along the Z axis, you'll see that the height of the cube one will change. So I'll change that from 0.1 to 0.5 and say apply. And so you see that the height of the cube board has changed. Okay, next I'll show you how to translate or move this shape around. So in this case, uh, select this icon here. Okay, so we'll go for the mouse translation. So if you check mouse translation relative to the world frame, which is uh, in this case, this plane, uh, and if you have checked along X, along Y, you'll see that it will move along the X and the Y dimensions, which are shown here. So here I'm going to now move it and see it can be freely moved in the X, Y dimensions. Let's say we only wanted to move in the Z dimension. So I'll check Z and uncheck Y and X. And now I can select it and move it up and down. Now you don't have to move it with a mouse. You can specify the positions using your uh, keypad. In this case, you go to position and let's say I'm going to set it to zero, zero, zero. And I just pressed enter and you said it just went penetrated the ground. So the way this is set up is that the center of the geometry, which in this case, is the middle of the cuboid is at zero, zero, zero. But let's say I want the cuboid to be uh, fully visible. In this case, I need to move it along the Z axis by a height equal to half its uh, length in the Z direction. So the length is 0.5, which is an input I'd given earlier. So I needed to move it by 0.25 meters. So I'm going to change the Z dimension here to 0.25 and enter, and then you see it's moved up. So this is how you move it using uh, your keypad. The final thing is to show how to rotate this geometry. So in this case, select this icon, which is about rotation. So again, like before, you can rotate it with your mouse click, which I'll do first. So I'm gonna select relative to the world frame. Uh, let's say I want to rotate about the y-axis, so y-axis is the axis shown in green. And so when I do that and I then click on cuboid and I start, I hold the mouse and just rotate, I'll move the mouse, I'll see that it's actually being rotated. Okay, similarly, you can rotate about the x-axis, so it's the world x-axis. Okay, and the final thing I want to show is you can also do this through a key, uh, the keypad. So let's just make it zero, Z, zero, zero. Change the world. Okay, let me just go here and then change that to zero, zero, zero. Okay, this is better. So once I fix it back to zero, 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 I can go to rotation. And now I can uh, choose to rotate about the world, the parent frame, and talk about that later, and then own frame. Own frame would be the axis shown here, the red, green, and the blue, which is you know, vertical direction. So let's say I want to rotate it about the own frame, not world frame. Uh, I want to rotate about the, the red, which is the X axis. So I'll change that to, let's say uh, 45. And I click that and you say it's rotated about this axis by 45 degrees. 
Next, I want to rotate about the green, which is the y axis. So let me change that to, in this case, let's just put 90 and say rotate. As you can see, it was rotated about the y, its own y axis. So this is how you can rotate the object.